Hey sailors, welcome to the crew. I'm Sea Lord Janda, and this is my let's play of Rule the Waves 3. It's 1925 or maybe 26 now. We're at war with France. And after some initial setbacks, we've just about avenged ourselves, and heavy fighting continues in the Caribbean with the fate of the French Antilles hanging in the balance, apparently. France are willing to throw everything they've got at that, so we'll see how it goes. The previous battle. And three more destroyers. Working on secondary director for light cruisers. Sank one submarine, lost three merchants. I think that's under control. France has commissioned a whole bunch of corvettes, but I'm not too worried about those as combat units. I assume they didn't have enough spare destroyers for trade protection or something. In previous games, I would build a bunch of corvettes in wartime to serve trade protection duties, but it doesn't seem especially necessary. At least not on the U.S. budget. Um, maybe if I was somebody else, I would still build a bunch of 500-ton corvettes with nothing on them to do the job, but... Uh, Okay, Winslow is almost finished. Another convoy battle, and we can ambush an enemy force. We are pulling off a lot of intelligence coups, and it helps to have high intel and high tech, I think, probably. It's a shame we're not getting any battles bigger than, um... Oh boy, we see the return of the 3rd Light Cruiser Division. USS Chattanooga, Flint, and Juno at it again. Along with Parker, Jewett, and Benham, which I'm sure were all in the last battle. Not sure about Downs, but... Well, there shouldn't be as much of a threat from the French anymore. I mean, they're fresh... They're not out of Ely class, actually, but... Uh, two down. They're down to 11 light cruisers. I mean, there's still three left, plus two goods, but... Uh, We only have five modern light cruisers left now. Let's see what we're up against. I see destroyers, maybe light cruisers, actually. Nope, oh, looks like it's two more Ely class. Um, what are we firing on? Oh, that destroyer. Okay. Where's the con- oh, there's the convoy. Okay. Well, I mean, screw the convoy. I'm focusing on the, um... Focusing on the cruisers and destroyers, and... If we kill them, then the convoy will just die. Although, it would appear the poor convoy is just gonna get shot up now, so that's fine. Ooh, whoa, there's a destroyer that's making a bit of a suicide run at us. Now, oh, dang it. Okay, I was just about to tell the cruisers to maneuver, and apparently it was too late for the destroyer that got launched at for some reason. Um, however, I don't think that the French destroyer is going to survive that one. Whoa, 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 here come their cruisers. Could we retarget them? Oh, for God's sake. Okay, there have been only small... Maybe the French have torpedo training or something? There have been only small incremental changes in torpedo tech since the last big war we had. And yet... The French seem to be using torpedoes much more effectively than anyone I've... Son of a bitch! The French seem to be using dis torpedoes so much better than anybody we've fought so far. Like, I don't understand it. At all.
It might just be that I'm being lazy about micromanagement and letting their destroyers get too close to us, but I feel like their accuracy at hitting destroyers at that, which are usually nigh on impossible for them to hit each other with their torpedoes, but... The... From where even? I don't know if the fact that it's all older cruisers that are getting hit by this, that's a, is that a coincidence, or... I don't know, but no, it's my destroyers too, like... How can their destroyers seemingly almost consistently hit ours with their torpedoes? Ours have pretty much never in the entire game gotten a hit on another destroyer with a torpedo. I really wonder if the French do have torpedo training active or something. I mean, we've sunk several of them here, but unless we manage to get one of these light cruisers, then this is a clear loss again. To be fair, it's not at all out of the question that we could get one of these light cruisers, and if we could, then it would be a fair exchange, but... Oh, in fact, yeah, one good thing about Chattanooga dying is that we can now make 30 knots. Oh, great, another column of transports for us to get distracted by. Whoa. Whoa, what's that cruiser doing? Why did she do that? Okay. Well, we've got a pretty decent chance of sinking this one now. Um, we should probably... Okay. Clearly, I'm not paying enough attention to my destroyers, but in my defense, they usually just kind of stick to... Oh, are these the convoys escorts? I think they are, so those aren't even under my control. Oh, man. I don't think we're going to get one of these light cruisers unless we get really lucky very shortly on a hit. And see, we're launching what I assume has to be the same sort of wild pot shot torpedoes that they are. And apparently theirs hit and mine don't. Don't know why. Although I did just see Flint dodged torpedoes, apparently. So that's nice. We're not having very accurate gunnery right now, either. And we're very low on ammo. Okay, guys, is there any chance 
that you could maybe torpedo one of those cruisers? I mean, they're right there. They're not even going that fast. That one is going in circles, I think. Nope, missed completely. Um, try one more time. I mean, if we could kill just this one, that would make it probably a winning battle. Yes, these are smaller than our Tacomas, but in reality, they're more modern by a lot, so... Are we just out of ammo? Well, we've got about 10%. Not ideal. But it's not all that durable a ship. I mean, come on. Rain some six-inch shells in on her. Which we are now, finally. Parker, do you have any torpedoes left? Yes, actually. Could you use them, maybe? I would really appreciate it. If you would just hit her with a goddamn torpedo. Apparently, USS Flint is out of ammo. That's great. That's ideal. Love that. Come on. How did none of those hit her? How is it even possible that none of those hit her? I swear. Do I have the actual U.S. Department of Naval Ordnance developing my torpedoes? Is that the problem we're having here, really? Fundamentally? Maybe it is. Maybe that's the whole issue, actually. Okay. Um, we have no ammo, really. Um, I don't think we're going to be able to sink this cruiser. I mean, Juno is still shooting, so I'm going to keep trying, in all honesty, but... Uh... Don't think our odds of killing her are very good at all. I mean, she must have a lot of damage, but... Nobody has anything left to deliver the coup de gras with. I mean, these destroyers have torpedoes, but they're damaged and miles away. Although Flint and Juno have reloaded their underwater tubes, that might do it if we could slow her down to near zero, but uh, otherwise it's awfully... I mean, we can't even get hits with the above-water tubes tubes on the destroyers, let alone the underwater tubes on the cruisers. Wait. Holy hell, it actually hit. It actually hit her. Oh, and here comes the other one. We have no ammo. We have to run away. Um, wait, are we sure that's... No, that's a badly damaged destroyer. Maybe we go finish that off, actually. I think we have a little bit of secondary ammo or something left. Probably. Do we even? Juno has 4% main ammo left. That would do it. Probably. Yes, the whole convoy, or what's left of it, is still right over there, but... 
Apparently only Juno's rear guns have any ammo, so that's why that's like that. Hit. That might have done it, honestly. One. One good hit. Okay. It's time to run away. I genuinely don't know who's legally won this battle. It doesn't exactly feel like a... Doesn't feel much like a win, but, um... We didn't lose any... Why did I just agree to that? That was dumb. Okay. I was just, I'm used to just clicking yes on this most of the time, but, uh, because it gives bonus points, but, um, at least we can confirm that that Ely class sank, so that's, uh, I think it's probably a win. I don't even know how to begin to count the number of destroyers we've lost versus the number they've lost. Uh, the post-battle screen will do it for me, though, so. Let us just get the hell out of here. <sighs> we won. We sank. A light cruiser and four destroyers for a light cruiser and three destroyers. They've and and of course we wiped out the whole con I mean fifteen out of sixteen merchants lost, which is certainly something. Uh, as convoy guards, the French didn't do so well. <laughs> They've lost the destroyers Massu, Pistolet, Javelin, and Poignard at fifteen hundred tons. And 14 and 1300. We lost the destroyers, USS Downs, Parker, and Benham, which are all brand new 1600 tonners. We also lost the old, but not that old, light cruiser Chattanooga of the Tacoma class, which has officially become. A super cursed class of light cruisers, which has just suffered much worse than any other light cruisers we've ever had. Um, but to be fair, Chattanooga was heroic. She lasted much longer than her two sister ships that died instantly in this war. Um, we sank Chasseloup Lobat. I'm pretty sure it took the torpedo to. Yeah, it took the torpedo to actually finish her off. But we sank her. Now, apparently, she's not officially worth as much as Chattanooga. Personally, I think she's actually worth more. So, it's a slight win. Uh, we'll call this, I guess, the second battle of Le Désirade. Slight win. Oh, and the army was reasonably successful. Where the army's fighting, I don't know. Antilles, I guess? How have we been fighting over French Antilles for like three or four months now? I mean, they don't... There's nothing there. I mean, it's not... That's harsh. It's not nothing. Ooh, reloads for above-water-mounted torpedo tubes. That's nice. Still struggling with oxygen torpedoes. Oof, and Georgia has hit a mine and is damaged in Southeast Asia. Rough. At least she didn't sink. That's a lot of damage, though. Damn. I mean, there are... We're still over the base cap there, too. Slightly. Apparently, France has one battle cruiser is there. That's nice. Um, yeah. I mean, France has three battleships in the Caribbean. I'm almost surprised they don't try to fight. Um, have we commissioned more destroyers since the war started that I can bloody well send to the? Uh, yes. The whole wind so slow class are not really ready, but considering how vicious this destroyer war is, we're kind of going to need to send them in anyway. 
so every one of you to the Caribbean. Good luck. <laughs> Hopefully there'll be enough to uh, actually... They've got a lot of gunnery power. If they don't get torpedoed right away, they should be enough to turn things a little bit against the French destroyers. Um, and now we have a budget again. We don't even ever have to pause anything. Pulled through. Um, we're still fine on light cruisers. I mean, we've lost all but one of the Tacoma class. Tacoma herself is on foreign station in the South Pacific and so survived. But we have eight Junos in service. We didn't actually lose any of them yet. Um, I should definitely send two more at least down to, well, even... It's not really anything harassing the East Coast. I should probably just send... Why is there not anything in the... Hey, shouldn't everything come up there? Maybe it's because I moved something already this turn. Uh, Alright, well, all the Junos that are left on the East Coast that are just recently finished... We are definitely going to need them in the Caribbean. Hopefully Fresno, Spokane, Tucson, and Reno can effectively reinforce our existing uh, Junos. The first four Junos are going to get designated uh, as um, first light cruiser division. The others, I guess, can be I don't believe we have a fourth light cruiser division, but it's about to about to exist in a second. Maybe we will end today by actually organizing our damn fleet finally, which I definitely should have done before we got into this war, but I don't think it made a huge difference. But it is part of the reason why we had this weird formation with some Tacomas and some Junos. And let's just make sure you're the first battle division. Okay. Let's see here. The 12 inch ships are the third battle division. The 14 inch ships are the second battle division. The 16 inch ships are the first battle division. And then the last two constellations need to also be part of the first battle cruiser division. And then I guess we will split the Brooklyns into two heavy cruiser divisions which I will rename to actually be I will dissolve this one and then this one will become heavy cruiser division fourth battle division I guess also should be dissolved as should Third Battle Cruiser Division, and... Aren't there ships part of that? Did I not just assign ships to that? Yeah, I did. Huh. Why does it say no ships, then? Also, let me rename it just first. Light Cruiser. Division. Oh, it has no commanding officer, my bad. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That's everybody accounted for and placed in divisions then, with the exception of the destroyers and the aviation ships, which don't count. Um How many destroyers do we have in actual service? Sixty four, zero building. Uh that's rough considering we have four, five 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 of these. So we've lost, what, 9 destroyers in this war already, at least? That is kind of brutal. Including 7, no, 5 Henleys and 3 Lawrences we've lost. That's 8. Hmm, whatever. Oh, no, there's another Lawrence, yeah. 
How are these are these not sorted by I mean, maybe they are sorted by date and I'm just Now they're sorted by date properly. Okay. Yeah, bit of a mess so far. We've lost three, nine destroyers and three light cruisers so far. The light cruisers at least were slightly outdated. The destroyers were all newer classes, annoyingly. So mm, we do have, then we have a new tech for destroyers. Oh, dual purpose guns. Well, that's not such a um that's not such a huge deal. I'll build a new design for that later. We'll uh for now I'm just gonna lay down another nine Winslow class. I know they don't have the three torpedo tubes, but since our torpedoes effectively seem to always miss anyway, might as well stick with the heavy gunnery for the moment. Okay, so it's November 1925. We've been at war with France for nine months. It's going all right. I mean, we do have more VP than them at this point. I think we've maybe inflicted more losses than we've taken at this point, although... No, that's probably not true. We've only sunk two light cruisers and, like... I can see what they've lost, actually. They've lost one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, oh, ten, three, yep, yeah, you know what, okay. They've lost three light cruisers, ten destroyers, and an armed merchant cruiser, which means we're just about edging this one out. But it's been a nasty little fight in the French Antilles between the two destroyer forces. Hopefully, deploying all the Winslows with their twin 5-inch turrets will finally turn it decisively in our favor as far as the destroyer battle goes, plus the new Juno, additional new Junos to reinforce the two that we've had down here. Hopefully, hopefully that means, and they might only have one Ely left as well. Um... Hopefully that means the French light forces in the Caribbean honestly could be broken already after the last battle. They did lose a light cruiser and four destroyers, and it seems like they only got one light cruiser left. Oh, no, three. They have three. Oh, good grief. Um, yeah. Honestly, we need the reinforcements because we're currently outnumbered by what they have left in terms of light forces. If we could get a battle where we brought in even a heavy cruiser... <laughs> That would be nice. One that was actually under our command. Well, uh, that's how it goes. It's been all life forces so far that the French have actually accepted anyway. I think with the reinforcements, we can turn that decisively in our favor, hopefully. Um, obviously, we're just totally dominating these territories. I should move more out of Southeast Asia, I guess. But it's not, it's not a huge deal to be a little bit over the base cap, really. Um, so we should be fine, honestly. We're pretty much dominating the Pacific, at least. Most of the French fleet is actually just back at France. That whole Francie dreadnought force is not really making much of itself. It just turns out that their light, their light forces, which I had kind of written off coming into the war, a little bit tougher than I thought. But... We're wearing them down a little. They've lost a pretty decent proportion of their new light cruisers and destroyers. They're down now to only two Elys and two, no, three Bugoods. So call it five modern light cruisers left. And I've got eight plus four more 
due to be completed shortly. Yeah, we'll see how it goes. For now, everybody, thank you very much for watching. Um, if you enjoyed it, remember to like and subscribe. New parts will continue to come out every other day. And have a nice day.